Hey guys, this is Stephen Howard and my dog Yucca. Uh, Lori's around here somewhere. Uh, just had our morning coffee and smoke and breakfast. We, uh, there you are. <laughs> we uh, got to talk to a guy named Peter and um, we've just been uh, talking about addiction. He has a, a drug problem. And, um, I, I've had drug problem in the past. Um, and so from that experience, I just kind of gave him the guidance and knowledge that I, I had. And, um, then he showed us some incredible artwork, his, um, his Indian, uh, heritage art, uh, jaw bones and all of these cool art pieces, peace pipes and, uh, knives made out of uh, obsidian and jewelry. all this jewelry uh got a pair of earrings um so it seems to me that instead of us being guided towards certain people and trying to heal people like a um you know those uh evangelistic guys that you know they run up on people and and try and heal them and you know use the lord and all this stuff and put hands on people <laughs> yeah I'll fall backwards I'm going to tap you in your forehead so uh, none of that but that instead people are drawn to us drawn to our energy and drawn to our experience level and they actually didn't realize it but why they were so drawn to us is because they needed to receive this knowledge and they were at a time in their lives when it absolutely was divinely guided that they encountered us uh, so that we could give them that said knowledge. And that's what being a true healer is, is um, just letting people know that you understand that you've been there and that, you know, there are a few things that they could do to take initiative themselves to make their situation better. And um, as a result of that, um, I feel a little bit drained this morning, but we had a good breakfast and, um, I, I think that, um, bottom, bottom line is everybody has, uh, has a time of atonement and when things are going this bad in the world and people are all shut down and it feels like the world is not the same or not operating the same, um, a lot of people go deeper into addiction and, um, and then a lot of people don't. A lot of people will actually go into um, recovery at this point because they've been awakened. They realize that the world's getting bad and that they can't continue the life that they were they were living in, in the addiction. So um, I think this morning was awesome. We had some sausage and eggs and uh, beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. Say hi, Lori. Yeah. No, not yet. We'll get Lori on here sometime. I was trying to figure it out if, if that was camera shy or, or what. Obviously camera shy. So um, sorry about that. Um, the mountain out here, though, I will tell you is one of the most beautiful things. The first light that uh, comes on it in the morning. Uh, the sun hasn't risen over here yet, but it's rising on the tips of that mountain. And it's, uh, it's a pretty incredible place uh, up it's here beautiful. in the Spring Mountains. So um, I hope everybody's well today. Um, I took a couple of rest days, and then I actually got called to work yesterday. And uh, I was working on concrete with a, a guy named Rich. And we were building an awning for a house for a Mexican family in Las Vegas. It was 118 degrees. Yep. It was not fun. I burnt my legs on a ladder. And, uh, you know, I, I honestly appreciated the work. Um, thank you, Rich. And, uh, but at my age and what's going on, I got to, I got to watch my hydration level. I have had stroke in that type of heat before. Mm -hmm. And, um, I got to watch my health and I, I got to, little bit more important missions to do um, as far as abundance you know financially um, I'm making it day by day and um, you know when things are needed the other day I had pure miracles 
A buddy of mine, Sean, came by and gave us some pizza, which was awesome. Veggie pizza from a really nice Italian place. Uh, my buddy Jody, who works for FedEx, hey Jody, uh, he was uh, nice enough to buy me a pack of smokes. And then uh, another friend of mine came over and, uh, and gave me some gas. So uh, thank you very much, Max. Uh, Max is from Hawaii. And I hope your bike gets fixed soon. Um, anyway, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Uh, once again, the downloads I got were, you know, uh, every day should be like Christmas Day. You should wake up excited to be alive, excited to, to have whatever happens that day. And um, that there's going to be divine gifts and they just come out of the woodwork and you don't really realize it until they happen. But every day they're happening. And so it's really important that we kind of give homage to that and and realize that, you know, if all the animals out here are sustained and taken care of that, you know, maybe the universe is, is OK with taking care of us, too. So, um, one love everybody. Uh, hope to get Lori on camera shy sometime and, uh, we'll get her talking. She'll be sitting next to me talking about some of the same stuff and her angle on it. I'd love to give women a perspective on what's, what's going on. Cause a lot of people are like, man, that guy's nuts. He talks to angels and stuff. <laughs> and, um, you know, as a big man, I'm, I'm 6'3", 230 pounds and, you know, I got tattoos, but they're all friendly. And um, flowers and Buddhas, you know, waves and stuff, cool stuff. <laughs> so, um, you know, not an evil bone in my body, but I am very protective of what I love and the people that I love and the places that I love. So, um, you know, as we're going into the, the Civil War here... <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I want everybody to realize that uh, for me, they're trying to divide and conquer. So if they divide us and get us all into little parties like Anifta or whatever it's called, uh, and we're all fighting and burning down cities, uh, they can go and say, oh, well, the FDIC needs to confiscate all these funds from this bank because it's in a jeopardy area. And um, they don't really have to take full accounting for that. So there's trillions of dollars that are being stolen from us right under our nose. And, um, you know, we're, we're sitting here camped out and, uh, you know, figuring it out and time goes by and trying to create a new economy or a new way of living. And it's, it's very tough. I would believe it's close to like what maybe the great depression people were going through in the great depression. There were, I think there were about 2.3 million Americans that ended up living in their vehicles. And this was in the 1930s, and they were living on canned goods. Well, hence the vehicle and the canned goods. Um, but I, I do believe that America will have a renewal, that um, it might take 10 to 15 years to recover from something like this, and the new world will look much different. Uh, all of these houses will have organic gardens and a cow and a goat and a couple pigs ducks and chickens. ducks and chickens and a fish, fish pond. And um, people will start living, sustaining themselves and realizing that money really isn't the answer. That, you know, 10 grand would help right now because I'd get a new trailer. But um, that money isn't the end of uh, end all be all that community and how you feel and uh, the wealth of having mind, body, spirit and health and Absolutely. having all of those things balance and unity and community and acceptance of everybody regardless of their problem or their issue and always having some sort of solution for them through your meditation, through your mantra, through your karma, through everything that you've gone through. Um, so it's really, really been an awesome experience for me. Um, Lori's bared witness to just a few days with me now of it. And, um, yep. it, it's real. It's real. Everybody can call me nuts, but it's real. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm wearing my Axman auto hat. 
just wanted to say hi to Jake Hansen and all the Hansons up in uh, Montana. If you ever get to um, go up Highway 93 in Montana, it's beautiful on your way to Arlie. Right, at, right before the Y on the left-hand side is the Axeman. Uh, also, just before that is the Cash One Pond. Uh, if you're ever in Missoula, Montana, go check those places out. You'll probably see one of my kayaks at the Cash One Pond. But um, I really look forward to getting back up to Montana. Um, you know, I got to get a few things taken care of down here. But once those are done, I believe by the springtime is what I'm hearing from my guides. Uh, I'll be in Montana again and um, probably living in Hamilton or Darby and then working on um, land ownership and working on permits and licensing and insurance for a business. So um, I hear the credit unions up in Montana will match whatever your investment is. So say you invested 50 grand into a business that would be running out of Darby. Um, that 50 grand would be matched by a credit union. So you'd get it. 100 grand for your 50. So uh, I, I think I'm going to be working on that stuff and getting ready for the next coming years. Um, I think Montana is definitely the place to be. Yep. I, I just have to find the, uh, the abundance in the garden during the season and get jarring and canning. And um, yeah, it should be an interesting transition. Um, I'm going to keep filming videos weekly, sometimes two to three a week. Uh, I used to do it every day, and that was really before the healing of the situation. Um, now that some situations are healing, and I'm actually working on other people and getting them, you know, as the broken healer here, uh, getting other people situated with their lives, I'm getting rewarded in such ways that I can't even explain. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a wheel. It just to keep spinning and getting better and better. So regardless of what's happening in the tumultuous world, uh, maybe isolating yourself under an oak tree somewhere would be a good idea. Right. And, um, yeah, people, people won't understand until later on, but, uh, abundance comes and goes, but your spirit's always inside you and it's always something that you got to take a look at and get down to brass tacks, the basics. What's, what's your truth? Um, and your, your truth is your truth. Um, that's a really weird thing to, to bring up at the end of this. Maybe I'll do a whole video about truth, but, um, the truth is the truth. Your truth is just as valid as the person opposing your truth. And um, we all have to understand each person's perspective as to what's happened and why. And um, yeah. So that being said, I'll leave you guys uh, from the Spring Mountains here. Almost stopped on 1313. That's pretty weird. But uh, I'll stop right here at 1414 couple more seconds and uh, I think I have a moment here so if we're all grounded we're all blessed we're all giving thanks and grateful for what we have no matter what our level and circumstances are that somehow the universe will come through and bless you and it'll be very subtle but you'll notice it and it'll start attracting others. And when it does that, it gets kind of scary because now what's your curriculum? Uh, what, are, what are we learning here? And uh, what, what exactly is your mission and your purpose? When you find that out, life is a true blessing. See you guys.